It's always been the artist, you know. If you study any culture, um, it's the artists that bridge the gaps between differences. It's the artists that have been communicating in a pan-Caribbean way before we talked about pan caribbeanness and, and, and unity and federation and all these things we've been talking about and now CSME. Artists have always been cross-border, working cross-borders, um, communicating with each other, talking with each other, working with each other, um, sharing ideas. I mean, I, I have colleagues in all over the Caribbean that I am, you know, that we're in conversation with. Um, I have requests all the time, you know, the other day someone from Jamaica wanted a Bahamian artist to come down to Edna Manley School, you know, you just, the conversation happens in a pan-Caribbean way. We see it most often through music, but it happens with visual arts and cultural arts as well. Um, and there's something to be said in that. There's something to be said that outside of political arenas, outside of economic differences, artists have always been able to cross borders, have always been able to appreciate difference, you know, respect differences, um, but also tap into the common spirit of us all. And you see it in East Germany before the wall came down. You see it in Israel. You see it all over the world, you know. Um, if you get to go to South Africa, I'm sure you'll see some black and white artists working together who have been working together from before, you know, apartheid was dismantled because somehow we managed to be that sort of bridge, a model for society and, to, and somehow it follows. When you talk about notions of the avant-garde in a way, that's what it is, eh? You have to be the advanced guard, you have to be the one, you're not gonna get all your ideas from the politicians, the churches, the mosques, these things. You have to be able to tap into your human self. And artists have always seemed to be able to do that in a very sort of, raw way, a very natural way, you know, and I think that's a beautiful thing. What I'm seeing in art is, I think the art world is very divided. It's not a, it's not a singular place, and I think that it reflects our, the world we really live in, that um, our world is very complicated and the art world is the, is the same way. Um, I'm not sure right now if there's a universal idea, but I do sense a universal passion in artists to be understood. I always thought of creativity and, and artistic, artistic expression as a way, an ultimate way to communicate or write, or even um, a form of writing, whether it's an emotional form of writing or communication, writing not merely, merely a script, but as expression, as, as performance, as, and, you, and you sort of see it in the, in, in the work of artists wherever you go. Um, I tend to focus, my specialty is modernism in general, but I do work primarily on the Caribbean. And in my work, I've just seen a passion for land, for our history, for an imperative, a sort of imperative in the artwork where we seek to be understood in a certain way that's complicated and almost counter to what or how the Caribbean is imagined. If you look at places which um, countries that weren't necessarily a part of the mainstream conversations, if you look at art that's happening in places, the former Soviet republics, if you look at art from Eastern Europe, if you look at artwork in, that's newly coming on stream in uh, places like a lot of Chinese or Korean artists that are entering um, contemporary art spaces, you see a sort of um, an eloquence, maybe, an eloquence of expression one of the most amazing artists I think I've ever seen was Izu Bing, who did, uh, he's a Chinese artist uh, and he works in just a very eloquent manner, just a very eloquent manner where he's able to express his cultural uh, position in a way, but also upend it and, 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 ex and expand it. Uh, we are current, there's a, currently a show in, at the Brooklyn Museum uh, Paul Infinite Islands uh, that's curated by Tamela Musaka, who's a South African looking at Caribbean art. And here it is, he's a South African person who has come into the region and has tapped in to the work of people that he probably never imagined he would, an artist he would never imagine when he was in South Africa that he would work it with. And here he is curating a show, pulling together works 
by artists from throughout the Caribbean and being able to tap into a sensibility that's truly reflective of this region uh, from Haiti, from Tr Trinidad, you name it, um, places are represented, you know, and he's able to do that. So there is something uh, definitely essential, I guess, uh, in, in the art that's being produced, but it's very particular as well to the space. You know, it's very much um, about the culture it's made in and it takes on a different sort of life when it's transported to some, someplace else. Uh, we have a Bahamian artist that I work on and she was telling me about a performance she did. She's done it all over the world. And each place that she did the performance, she had different responses to it. You know, essentially people generally like the piece, but their response, what they made of the piece was different in Barcelona. It was different in Iceland, you know, it was just different wherever she, um, she, she performed it and I think we need to understand that the magic of art that it's not just about an artist making a piece of work it's how your audience remakes it you know every time they experience it how they put themselves into it it's you know it's the responsibility of the artist to think through their product um, their objects their expression but also keep the audience in mind I mean I don't think artists can ever guess what people, you know, they, they may have desires on what kind of response they want, but, you know, audiences have a way of introducing new ideas to the piece, things that the artist wasn't aware was actually being said in the piece. And in a way, we have to let that go. We have to let that sort of possession of the art object go as creative people and just sort of let the artist recreate the piece through their experience or how they respond to it emotionally.